going to talk to you real quick about connecting your uh, laptop to your TV cart. And so you have a couple different options to do that. The first option is to do that wirelessly. So if you choose to do that wirelessly, you're going to do that using what's called screen mirroring. It used to be called AirPlay with, with newer laptops. Uh, Apple has renamed it to screen mirroring. And so by default, that screen mirroring setting is under my little control center icon up here. Although if I want to, I can click and drag to put that right into my toolbar if I want it to be where it was before. And so if I click on that, this is where I will see my room number. Now on my TV, you'll notice I have a nice little screen saver going on, which changes throughout the day. And in a little floating window, that'll tell me what the name of my Apple TV is. That's the Apple TV I'm looking for in my screen mirroring list. And then when I choose it, it will uh, throw my screen up onto that screen. Now it's probably gonna ask for a four digit code the first time you do it, but I've already connected multiple times today, so it's remembered my code from the last time. So now I have my screen mirroring up onto this screen. Now I have a couple different options here. I can choose to either mirror my screen, which means what's on my screen will be an exact duplicate of what's on the TV, or I could tell it to use it as a separate display. And what this will do is this acts as a second monitor. So my laptop would be monitor one on the left and my TV would actually be a second monitor on the right. And so what I can actually do is click on a window on my laptop and drag it off the right side of my screen and it will actually move it from one screen to the next. So instead of being a mirror image, I now have essentially two different monitors and I can drag things back and forth from one to the other. This is handy if you wanted to have kids see one thing on one screen while you're doing something different on your laptop screen. And again, if I want to switch back, all I would have to do is go to the same screen, screen mirroring settings and tell it to mirror my display again for that to match. Now, sometimes people are not happy with the size of my icons or the size of my windows whenever I am mirroring. So if that is the case, I can actually click on that screen mirroring icon. And if I go all the way down at the bottom, I have some display preferences. Now in the display preferences, it allows me to control whether the, my icons are the best size for my Apple TV, which I might find a little small, or I could tell it to go ahead and scale those. And if I scale them, it gives me three different sizes to choose from, or I could choose a smaller size, which actually makes the icons a little bit bigger. Uh, again, personal preference, it's whatever you choose. The nice thing is, is your computer will remember the last thing you did on that specific TV. So um, set it one way and you typically don't have to keep messing with it. Now, this has done everything wirelessly, but let's say I'm gonna turn off mirroring by simply clicking on my TV again. Now my screen mirroring is turned off. If I am playing videos or something that requires a lot of internet speed, maybe a YouTube video or something that is gonna be uh, very internet heavy, then a lot of times I may choose to plug in my laptop instead of mirroring. So uh, what we have is we have a cable, an HDMI cable, it looks like this, that's also connected to your television. Now in order to plug this cable in, I'm also gonna need this adapter that you got from the district that has all these little plugs in it. And one of the plugs on the side is an HDMI adapter. So I'm gonna actually take the TV cable, plug it into my HDMI adapter, and then this plug is gonna plug into my computer. But before I do that, what I need to do is I need to have my handy TV remote, and I need to change the input on my TV from HDMI 1 to HDMI 2. All right, HDMI 1 is this Apple TV. That's what we use for wireless connections. HDMI 2, I can hit the source or input button just like any other TV and switch to HDMI 2, and that's what we use at Holman for our uh, cable. So once I've switched to HDMI 2, now I can take my adapter and plug it into one of the ports, doesn't matter which one, and once I do that, it is going to take my computer screen and it will put it up on the television just like that. Now, plugged in with this adapter, you have a few other options as far as screen size and adjustments. Uh, the way that works in here, I can go up to my same screen mirroring and options. I can choose either 
mirror or separate display, just like I did wireless. But when I go down to display preferences, I actually now get some options here for uh, how much space or how much text size I want to adjust. So I can go back and forth and I can have my text be really tiny and my icons be really tiny, just like this, and get tons of screen real estate. These are 4K televisions, so they have lots and lots of pixels to deal with. Or I have all kinds of little options here to control five different settings until you find the one that is just right for your eyes and being able to navigate through your computer. So you can adjust that in here. So again, playing uh, videos, it works best to be plugged in. Anything else you typically can do wirelessly, and then that's how you can adjust those settings. Now for sound, the only thing I need to do when adjusting with the sound is I need to make sure whether I'm wired or wireless, if I click on my little speaker icon, I wanna make sure that the output is set to that 65 inch TV when I'm plugged in, or if I do AirPlay, it'll send it automatically, okay? So if I'm plugged in, I change my sound settings and make sure it's set to that 65 inch TV, otherwise my sound's only gonna come out of my speakers. Uh, if I do AirPlay, it's gonna send that sound sent automatically uh, via AirPlay at that same time, or screen mirroring. And that's all there is to connect in your laptop to your TV card.